Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kate. In today's video, I am on my newer account and the goal is to complete some of these Mondstadt story quests that have just piled up on my quest log. Honestly, I don't know how quickly we'll be able to accomplish this, but ideally I would be able to get them all done today. I'm trying to get my adventure rank up because I want to unlock Mondstadt reputation and start working on, you know, trying to get the compass so that I can do exploration in Mondstadt for you guys. But I did have a lot of people tell me that they enjoy watching my, like, story quest and hangout videos, so I wanted to still include these story quests in a video. But anyway, I'll, I'll quit yapping and we'll just go ahead and jump in and I'm gonna show you the quest log. So the story quests I currently have are, I believe this is Razor's, and then I have Deluxe, and I think this is Lisa's. Just a little disclaimer before we get started, I know I said I'd stop yapping, I lied, I'm not done. But this video is probably going to have a little bit more cut from each of these quests just so that I'm able to condense it all down into just one video. So it's, a, it's gonna be a little different than my normal format, but I wanted to try something new. I'm kind of trying to not necessarily like speed up the process, but just share more of this with you guys quickly because I know a lot of you are a fan of this series and are always wanting to see more. So hopefully this satisfies your craving. But anyway, your feedback is always so important to me. So just go ahead and let me know down in the comments how you feel about today's video once you finish. But okay, let's start with Razor. Oh, okay, I could teleport there, but I'm gonna walk because I have to talk just a little bit more before we get started. I have to, I mean, come on, it's my job. That's what I'm here for. There's a few point right there, but I just wanted to give a little refresher for you guys, for anyone who maybe this is your first video or you just forgot, I don't know. I am a semi-experienced Genshin player who created this account kind of to just relive some of the early game, and I also wanted to take you guys along with me as I play through it. My starting a new Genshin account video, which is what started this whole series that I've been doing, just recently got to 100,000 views on YouTube. And it's just, it's literally unreal to me that that many people have perceived me, number one. Number two, that so many of the people that have watched that video decided to like subscribe and stick around and just the love and support that I have received from all of you means so much to me you have no clue and I just I want to thank you guys for being here so I'm sorry for yapping had to do it I'll stop gushing I'll get started now I just had to tell you guys that I love you and I appreciate you and all of this means so much to me okay shut up girl we're playing now <gasps> Paimon she's tiny is woven dumb. People from Mondstadt hardly ever come here. Even though it's not so far away from the city, the environment here is totally untouched. It's a wild place ruled by the laws of nature. It's survival of the fittest out here. Even the slimes around here are huge. Like those super duper massive ones over there. Slimes have always been and will always be so cute. Like, I don't care that they are taking me out right now. They're adorable! <laughs> You're in for a little shock. Come a little closer. You're in for a little shock. Oh, he's so cute. Look at him. Do not worry. Uh, wolves, friends. But you are? We're just some boring old travelers passing through. <sighs> Don't smell boring. You smell familiar. We smell? You smell like Knights of Favonius. They are friends. I just want to know what a Knights of Favonius smells like. And I also want to know how I've acquired this smell. 
Like, I haven't been here long enough to really, you know, start smelling like it, but okay, you know, whatever. I am Razor. Are you one of the Knights of Favonius too? I am not. Uh, oh. My wolf pack. They are my family. Your family? Yes, they raised me. We live together. We are family. So many questions. They are angry with me. I help you. Exposed our ambush. Boar ran away. Ah, oh, don't worry. Paimon will get her friend to catch you another boar. She's stronger than she looks. N no, no need. When knights try to help, wolves go hungry. Don't be silly. Wait here. We won't screw this up. Just watch. Is this the only quest where you ever do anything involving like a hunting trap? Like I don't I don't remember ever using a hunting trap. Like besides this, I didn't even remember that we use a hunting trap here. Ha <laughs> ha! Told you we could do it. I think it's hilarious that they just let me use the meat that's in my backpack and they didn't require me to do the quest at all. I thanks. But Wolves catch five or six every hunt. Tonight they go hungry. Uh, oh. Don't worry. You tried. At least you did better than other night friend. The red one. Bernie girl. If she was here, whole mountain is fire. Can't catch even one boar. I must go now. Here is not safe. Careful. Always watching. What a weirdo. Bernie girl? From the Knights of Favonius? What is he? Hmm. Who do you think it is? Okay, and our quest has begun. Find Amber and ask about the boy from Wolvendom. We are assuming that Amber is the red Bernie girl. Although, you guys know I've already done this, so I just, I know that's not the truth. I won't reveal who Red Bernie Girl is, though. I won't- I won't be a spoiler. I won't spoil things for people who aren't this far. But I actually only ever refer to her as Red Bernie Girl. Hi, Paimon! Hi, Traveler! What can I do for you? Wait, I love that we just found her, like, assessing a dandelion. This is what she does Hi, in her free time. Amber. Amber, do you know a wolf boy from Wolvendom? Who? He said you guys hit it off like a mountain on fire. What on earth are you talking about? Strange. He said he would wait for you at your regular spot. Did you lose your memory or something? My memory is fine. But you've been eating magic Matsutake again, haven't you, Paimon? I have no idea what you're talking about. Magic Matsutake? Remind me what color they are? Purple. Paimon may have had a couple the other day. But that's not the point. <laughs> Do you really not know that boy that lives with the wolves? I don't know what you're talking about. But on the subject of wolves, I've been investigating something recently. In the past, the wolves never dared venture outside of Wolvendom. But now they're getting braver. I heard they attacked a cart fleet near Drunkard Gorge. If you have time, could you come and check out the situation with me? Me, because I thought this quest was supposed to be about Razor, but somehow Amber has turned it into a quest about her. Awesome. I knew I could count on you. Let's go. Go to Drunkard Gorge. Why did I never realize like that's a legit name? Oh, she's down there. Is that the disturbance? Gotta be. Look, up ahead! Something's happening! Oh yeah, that's a disturbance, all right. That ain't no wolf pack. Looks like it's the hilly trails attacking the carts after all. Huh, not such a mystery after all. Enough talk, let's go help out. Hey, hilly trolls! Come a little closer. Oh, what did I do? Overload myself? <laughs> Thanks, Lisa. Appreciate it. Bless you. Piece of cake. 
So, the hilly trolls have been starting to flex their muscles on the back of the wolf scare. That's right. But I must say, if you think the hilly trolls are a nasty lot, the wolves are even worse. They... they attacked Springvale this morning. Springvale? That's crazy! It's unheard of. I thought I would take my chances on the road after the wolves had their fun. I never thought the hilly churls would show up too. We should head there soon and see how bad the situation is. But first things first, you should assess the damage to your cart. Does it still work? I'll take a look. Oh, I'm so glad her cart still works. It would have been a shame if they had broken her cart. Me too. Oh dear. This is awful. Poor lad can't even stand. That's terrible. Except he's not actually injured. Right. It's awful. The wolves frighten him so badly that he's paralyzed with fear. That really is awful. Do you remember any significant details of what you saw? I... I've never seen a wolf in my life before today. It was terrifying. No details then, huh? Let's investigate the area again. Clues, clues, clues. Looking for clues. Oh, do I need to be using, like, my secret... What's that called? That way that you see... Elemental Sight. Oh, I don't know if I needed to do that. These claw marks. From them, we can tell the number and size of the wolves. This time, there were at least two wolves. And they must be... Yes, yes. They must be at least two meters high. Hey, wolves are mysterious creatures. It's not like you see them every day. Okay, looking for more clues. I'm ignoring the animoculi. Sorry, I just like was gonna say animoculus and then I realized there were two, so I was trying to do the plural, but it kind of came out weird. But anyway, I, I would get the animoculi, except I don't want to right now. We're working on a quest. We're busy right now. We don't have time to do that. This is a wolf's tooth. He must have smashed into the door when he pounced. Uh, anyway, seems pretty lucky how no one in the village got seriously injured. Okay, what other clues are there? There we go. Wolfer. I heard that in Liyue, they make calligraphy brushes out of this stuff. The color looks nothing like Mondstadt wolf fur, based on what the books say. Could it be that they're from somewhere else entirely? Hair looks different at every place on the body. Same applies to wolves. You don't know where it's from. But look at this. Another hair. But what's that stuck to it? It's the seed of a wolf hook berry. Look, there are little hooks on the seed. The only places this grows in Mondstadt are Wolvendom and Bright Crown Canyon. So it's Wolvendom wolves after all? From that area, yes. But it could be that there are other wolf packs encroaching on their territory. This doesn't tell us everything, but it does give us a strong lead. Enough to start investigating. I'll go and see to the villagers before we head off. Okay, we have to calm the villagers down now. Which, I mean, why are you so scared of wolves? Like, if you just go in your house, like, you'll be- if you don't bother them, they're not gonna bother you. How is your investigation coming along? What? You're standing! Yes, I see. I have recovered, thankfully. I managed to claw my way back out of the depths of hell. So, Knights of Favonius, what have you found out? From inspecting the wolf fur left at the scene, we can tell that the wolves came from Wolvendom. Beyond that, we don't know anything. But please remain calm. I will head to Wolvendom shortly and get to the bottom of this. The Knights of Avonius will not allow this danger to continue any longer. Good. Better late than never, I suppose. How rude! In the meantime, we'll just have to keep dealing with this on our own. Please, don't do anything stupid. <laughs> we do things a bit differently around here. You Favonius lot probably aren't used to it. They will pay for what they've done. <laughs> Goodbye. 
It's awful. Really is. What is? Their future outlook, I mean. Young people can be so impulsive sometimes. If it's not too much to ask, I hope you can keep an eye on them. Stop them from getting into trouble. It's no trouble. That's what we're here for. Even though that guy really isn't much of a charmer. Leave it to us. Uh, off to Wolvendom we go. Okay, and now we are off to Wolvendom, obviously, to look for wolves. In case you were wondering. There he is. Who's there? Chill out, Razor. It's only us. You are also knight? So you don't know each other after all? No. This girl also red, but not so Bernie like other girl. This is starting to make sense. Is this the wolf boy you were talking about? Correct. His name is Razor. Help me out. With what? No time. I sent Lupa call away. People coming. Bad people. Those guys from earlier? I understand, but first, I have a few questions. I smell blood. <laughs> Quick! Blood? I hope the wolves didn't attack those idiots. What am I looking for? Is this blood? Oh, I knew he was going to do that. Blood droplets. Not human blood. Wolf blood. Lupacol blood. Lupa what now? Are you going to tell us what it means yet? Lupacol is family fate gave me. When wolf accepts human as its own, or human accepts wolf, that is Lupacol. Sounds like gibberish to me. That's strange. Where does the word come from? Surely it wasn't made up by the wolves. It's just the name he gave. Who's he? Guardian of this land. Wouldn't that be Barbados, though? He is the ruler of Mondstadt. Enough. Another clue. Follow me. Hey, wait. This is your chance to prove your innocence. <sighs> He's already gone. Oh, wow. I never noticed the... Like actual wolf yeah! claw marks. I'm just running past them. Have these always been here? Like, I, I feel like when I first played, I probably didn't pay as much attention to the details because, I mean, it's your first time playing. Everything is overwhelming. But that is a super cool thing about being able to, like, come back and replay this is everything. I'm actually paying attention to little details. No! That's, like, kind of a sad image. Although that is literally a dog. Like, it's a little dog. It's literally what the dogs in this game look like. This is him. We find his blood. Bad men did this. Oh, how terrible. I do agree that it's awful, but that doesn't change the fact that... We didn't attack village. Not us. A black wolf and his pack. Not from here. They tried to take over land. They broke the code. Whose code? Guardian of this land. That's now the second time you've brought that up. Tell us who that is. I take Lupa call further in. Follow me. Maybe you see. From the way that he was talking, like, I definitely feel like I thought wolves were going to be a bigger thing in this game than they are. But obviously, that did not turn out to be true. Whoa, if that one from earlier was two meters high, imagine how high this one must be. Those are big old paw prints. What's this? They're so huge! Uh... Help me! Collect these! Aren't those wolf hook seeds? Crush them! Put on wound! Bleeding stop! Hooks help seeds move! Liquid stops pain and bleeding! Animal doesn't feel hooks! They take seeds far away! Purple teacher told me so! I stay here! Take care of this one. I answer Red Girl's questions. Right. And if that lot does come back, I doubt they will try their luck against a member of the Knights of Favonius. Your wolf friend is not clear of my suspicion just yet, but we'll still need to fetch those seeds. I don't know if this is like a relatable thought or not, but these wolf hook berries, they always remind me, I don't know if you guys are even going to know what I'm talking about. But, like, from where I'm from, we have these little things. We call them stickers. They're like little plants. They're little green balls that are, that kind of look like a wolf hook berry. 
and they like stick to everything so if you walk like in the grass sometimes they'll just be stuck to your socks every time i see a wolf hook berry that's what i think of but like how is it a berry such a crazy creation but okay we're back have we got enough yes enough Razor was just telling me about the woven code of conduct. Mind-blowing stuff. We've looked everywhere and haven't seen any other wolves. <sighs> yep, that's wolves for you. The one we managed to capture must have been sick or something. What are you doing here? Revenge. It's him! The one who was raised by wolves! So, it was you... I should have known wolves aren't smart enough to be behind this. I can't believe you would help wolves plot against humans. Enough! Yeah, you can't talk about Razor like that. The Knights of Favonius are gonna let this guy off? We did not raid village. What is this disturbance to which I awaken? <sighs> This is no offering to Boreas. Where is he? Not oh, I think I'm just supposed to be looking at this. For my kind. So too do you fail to recognize your own transgression. I will not stand for such impertinence. Okay, guys, are you ready to see me just absolutely beat him up? Surrender and it'll be gentle. You're in for a little shot. Hey, when can I like Boba, do any them. damage to you? Go ahead and let me know. Uh, prepare to be blown away. Uh. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Why is this actually hard? I do this fight. Oh. Every single week on my other account. It's never this hard. Maybe it is. <laughs> You're in for a little shot. <laughs> Come a little closer. I mean, just stop smacking me, bro. But I don't want to dodge. I don't want to. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Be such a brute. <laughs> okay. Obviously, need to. You're in for a little shock. Come a little closer. Yep. <laughs> Are you kidding? I missed. Ah! Sit still, bro. <sighs> Cutscene. <sighs> Chomp. <sighs> I get eated. Like he said, an outside wolf pack coming in and breaking the rules. They will reap what they have sown. But Razor, you must not get involved. This is for the wolves to settle between themselves. You fight not with claws, but with the sword. You strike not with teeth. But with lightning, you are human, Razor. I am not like them. I don't belong. You are no wolf. This is a matter for the wolves, and the wolves alone. And you, you are Razor's Lupacar amongst humans. Your nobility stands out against others of your kind. If you ever wish, you may 
train with me. I have nothing further to say. May we meet again, Razor and company. Hey, Razor, what's that look for? Why don't you come to the city for a few days? Yeah, you have a friend in Mondstadt anyway, right? You know, that red Bernie friend of yours? You're not safe in the wild anymore, but I know that you don't want to hurt them. I'm fine, don't worry, but I'm not city human, but also not wolf. Thank you, Traveler, Paimon, and other red girl. Hey, we've been with you all this time, and you still don't even know my name? Goodbye. So I think I might go ahead and I'll do the Lisa quest because hopefully I don't remember anything about this quest. Hopefully it's not super long, but okay, let's get a move on. We got we got some troublesome work to get to. Okay, into the library we go. I just want you all to know that while all the dialogue has been playing, I'm literally back here crocheting. I am a multitasker. We are filming a video, going through the quests, and I'm crocheting. My life is a movie. Okay. Oh, a viewpoint. Here is Lisa. <sighs> if you're borrowing a book, please register it in the log. The restricted section is currently not lending any books. Oh, it's you, little cutie. It's so good to see you. More refreshing than a strong cup of tea in the afternoon. Clearly you're meant to be working, but you don't seem to have your heart in it at all. I mean, other than Jean, who really works that earnestly anyway? So, did you have something you needed? Or did you just come to see me? Ooh, a smooth talker. Not what I was expecting. So, Miss Librarian, got any books to recommend? Hmm, recommended books. Sadly, everything I'd personally recommend is all in the restricted section, which we're not currently lending out. What's with your ominous tone? Oh, right. Would you be interested in checking out the Devat Travel Guide? I think it would be quite helpful for you as travelers here. Ooh, sounds like it could be helpful. Do you think we could take a peek? <sighs> I suppose I can try to find you a copy from the list. Isn't this Lisa's job? What does she mean, I suppose? Oh dear, that's unfortunate. Our copy is currently being borrowed. That said, it is now overdue. Come to think of it, quite a few of our books are now overdue. <sighs> I really wish people would just return their books on time. Whoa, is Paimon imagining things, or does the air in here suddenly feel a lot more electrified? <sighs> Such a pain. <sighs> I'm going out to bring those unreturned books back. If you'd rather get your hands on that copy of the Tavat Travel Guide sooner, you'd better come with me. Seems really scary right now. Paimon thinks it would be best if you answer her. Imagine going to the library because you know that the books there are free and you want to pick out something to read, but you get there and you find out that the librarian is actually going to force you to work to get the book that you want. So is it really free anymore? You really are such a considerate cutie. Let's see. First, we can go to the souvenir shop. It's called With Wind Comes Glory. So, let's meet there shortly. Okay, let's teleport out of here and find Marjorie and tell her that she needs to return her freaking book. Why can I not? Like, there we go. Sometimes I struggle. Cutie, you're here. Let's begin, shall we? Hello, Marjorie. Any exciting new items in stock? Why so surprised? Today is such a special day. It's only natural that I'd want a souvenir to remember it by. So it is. In that case, I declare this the day of... The day of my life I wish I could get back because I spent my first ever outing with someone taking them on an annoying errand. Don't you think that's a bit long? <laughs> 
Well, if it's a souvenir you're after, you're in the right place. I'm sure you'll find something that strikes your fancy, Lisa. Or you could let your new friend pick something out for you. Make it more of an occasion. Yes, yes! Let us pick! Take a look around. There's sure to be something she'll love. Bloomers? Like, and what are the question marks? Take a look around. There's... What? Why are there two question marks? I'm gonna give her bloomers. This pair? Soft, puffy, and very comfortable. Certain to make a little girl, well, in this case a woman, look quite adorable. After all, they're the same kind worn by toy dolls. They're practically a badge of cuteness. Bloomers? I'm sure to attract some strange looks if I dress up like a small child in public. Do you have some strange hobby you're not telling me about? Okay, one... Lisa, what? I, I literally thought bloomers were underwear. Like, I just thought they were being funny and calling them bloomers. Okay, I can't change my mind. Yeah, no, I'm not giving her bloomers. That's like so... Take a look around. There's sure to be something she'll love. Like, y'all are making it weird. I thought it would be funny. A voodoo doll? Wait, why are the question marks like... I'm giving her a ragged old scroll. I just feel like she would have a use for the scroll. This is a historical relic retrieved from some ruins by one of the Adventurers Guild. Sure, there's a bit of wear and tear, but this thing in the painting must be well over a thousand years old. Though it doesn't make much sense to me. My goodness! This is one of the three lost scrolls that make up the northern border wind investigation. What is it doing here? Yeah, I picked the best gift. You're welcome, Lisa. Are you sure? Can't change again once you've made your mind up. I don't know, I feel pretty confident in my answer. My, my. You clearly know a treasure when you see it. This is a work of unparalleled significance for the research of ancient people's understanding of the elements. I will gladly accept it. Goodness, is that the time? <sighs> Marjorie, one last thing. About the legend of Vanessa. Oh, so you're a fan of the gallant lady Vanessa too? Why didn't you say so? I have all sorts of items I could recommend. For example, this lion's tooth pendant with Vanessa's name carved into it. It was once a medal awarded to a knight by the great lady herself. Hmm. Oh my goodness. I do apologize. I got so excited when you mentioned Vanessa. I didn't know that book was overdue, even though I take it with me everywhere. I can't believe I didn't put two and two together as soon as I saw you here. <laughs> here you go. Well, since you look up to Lady Vanessa so very much, please be more punctual next time. Yes, Lisa. I will be, Lisa. Let's go and find the next overdue book. Everyone out there, this is a sign to return your library books so your librarian doesn't come knocking on your door yelling at you. Welcome to Good Hunter. Table for two? Three! Oh, <laughs> my apologies. Please sit wherever you like, and call me over once you're ready to order. So we're gonna eat first and bring up the book situation later? Why, of course. The stress of work really takes the pleasure out of eating, don't you think? Work is that bad, huh? <sighs> Why don't you order- I mean, I don't know what she likes to this eat. This seems like the sort of staple bar food you'd find at the tavern. Are you sure? Can't change again? I'm picking it. I don't care. Mm. Finished ordering? Sit here. Let's dine together. Hmm. Such a potent aroma. It's almost suffocating. I never thought someone your age would go for a dish like this. Okay, because that's going to aggravate me. Don't tell me to order for you. But then when I literally talk about what I'm going to order with you, you talk about it with me and you never say, oh, this is disgusting. I would never eat that. But whatever. I always had you down as a little cutie. Now I'm not so sure. Ugh, I'm on so full. Time is getting on. I suppose I should carry on with this ghastly thing called work. Let's have a little chat with Sarah about her library book. Would you like to order something else? No, thank you. We're quite satisfied. But I'm afraid I must ask you about the boar princess. The boar brisket? <laughs> I'm sorry. I think we took that off the menu. <sighs> she means the book you borrowed. Oh, of course. I came straight to the restaurant after I borrowed it and completely forgotten that I even had it. I'm so sorry, Lisa. I will bring it to the library myself as soon as I finish work. 
Okay then, but make sure you don't forget this time. Right, on to our next stop then, cutie. Oh, you're gonna aggravate me. What do you mean a character is involved in another quest? I thought you can like turn that off. Oh, what are you talking about? Like, who even is Donna? Oh, okay, I have to go this way. Oh, but this is literally gonna start Legend of the Dark Knight Hero. Oh, oh. like that is so stupid, but whatever. Hey guys, we're starting Deluke's quest because it's forcing me to. I thought that you could turn that off. Like, I thought that wasn't a thing anymore. And why do I have to talk to Charles about anything? I'm trying to talk to Donna. So, you've got a taste for adventure too, huh? I must say, the patrons have been in a bit of a buzz lately. Though the topic on everyone's lips is more of an urban legend than actual news. Even minding my own business, I still end up hearing all about it. Uh-oh. It's not one of those scary urban legends, is it? If so, Paimon needs to take a deep breath first. <laughs> it's not a particularly scary story, no. At least, not for most people. It's the tale of the Dark Knight Hero. <laughs> huh? Did the bartender just say something? You weren't even listening. Anyway, the Dark Knight Hero. It is said that he appears in the middle of the night to fight evil and uphold justice. But to be honest, I don't have much interest in such rumors. Unless, of course, he can help take care of the more belligerent patrons after they've had a few too many. I would happily take that as proof of his existence. I'm told that there have been a handful of sightings, but in the depths of night, no one can get a good look at him. <laughs> Perhaps that's why he only appears at night. Nevertheless, the sightings confirm that the Dark Knight hero is more than just a groundless rumor. <laughs> anyway, that's more or less everything I know. If you want to know more, ask around in the plaza. Oh, I need to serve some customers. Dark Knight hero. Seems like your standard cookie cutter urban legend, but just a little darker. Wonder who it could be. Once you're ready, let's head out to the plaza and ask around. What if I don't want to talk to these people, but it's forcing me to? I didn't mean to talk to you, six-fingered Jose. Goodbye. I'm a busy bee. The bystander better be Donna, so that way I can finish this. Please let me work on the quest that I want to work on. You're stressing me out. You want to find out about the Dark Knight hero? Look no further. It's me. I am the Dark Knight hero. <laughs> You're right, I'm not. I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes aside, I do think that the Dark Knight hero and I have one thing in common. What's that? It's the way he sticks to his principles. Coming out here night after night, fighting for justice, keeping Mondstadt safe. Wow, so you're a nocturnal vigilante too? <laughs> no. I just mean he must be seriously rich. Why is that? People only start worrying about spiritual fulfillment once they have enough material wealth. It's the same in every hero story, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's nothing like that. I just have too much time on my hands these days. Same difference. You are the boss of the cat's tail after all. Why don't you ask the guards at the city gate? They do night shifts all the time. They must know something. I literally just want to talk to Donna. Well, guys, I guess we're doing all three today because what is this? This sucks. Well, I hope you guys are here for a while. Get your snacks. You want to know about him? In fact, I'm one of the few who has seen him with my own two eyes. Great! This is the guy we need to talk you. So, just who is the Dark Knight hero? Whoa, slow, slow down. Let me start from the beginning. Well, I was patrolling one night when suddenly I heard something. I rushed over to check it out. I saw a gang of suspicious looking fellows who looked like they were up to no good. So I quickly hid. Hid? You're supposed to be a guard! That was when he appeared. He was dressed in black from head to toe, perfectly hidden in the night. 
The way he crept up on those bad guys must have felt like a living nightmare. Wow. Guess what I did next? I wasn't the bad guy. Why would I need to run away? Still, I did leave the scene. I didn't want to be a nuisance to the Dark Knight hero. So instead, I headed to the Knights of Favonius's residence. Correct. I thought surely someone with such a strong sense of justice and who voluntarily protects Mondstadt is exactly the kind of person you'd find in the Knights of Favonius. <sighs> but it seems I was wrong. I checked everywhere, and there were no signs of anyone having left the building. So you're saying whoever it is can't be from the Knights of Favonius after all? Yes. <sighs> but I just can't understand. Why would someone like that not want to join the Knights. I'm sure they would warmly welcome someone of his abilities. So, the point you're trying to make is, you don't know who the Dark Knight hero is either? Hey, don't be like that. At least by talking to me, you've ruled out a few more people. Anyway, try asking at the flower shop. I heard a girl there's been talking about the time you rescued her. Is this Donna? Can this please be Donna? I would like to get back to the other one. You are confusing me. It's Donna. This is amazing. Thank God. What's wrong with me? Why can't I get him out of my mind? Uh, hello? We'd like to ask you about the Dark Knight hero. My hero? Oh, sorry. Just hearing his name gets me lost in thought. Hang on. How did you know who I was talking about? Is it that obvious? Oh, no. What am I going to do if Master D. Luke ever finds out? Huh? What's D. Luke got to do with this? Uh, well, I guess I might as well spill the beans then. I used to think D. Luke was the one for me. But ever since the time I was rescued by the Dark Knight hero, I... I just don't know anymore. Wowee! You saw the Dark Knight hero? For real? What's he like? It all happened so fast. I was so scared. All I remember is seeing a flash of fire. But I felt safe. I only saw his silhouette, but it felt so... familiar. Who knows? Now that you mention it, a pyrovision does seem like a good explanation. It lit up the whole area in an instant. I remember that very well. Okay, then. Well... Thanks for the intel, Donna. See you around. So, based on what we know so far, all we need to do is find a wealthy, vision-wielding vigilante who's not one of the knights. Hmm. Nope, still no idea. But we already asked so many people. Guess we gotta see for ourselves. Let's take a look around the city at nighttime. If we're lucky, we just might bump into him. Okay, well, which one do you guys think I should continue doing first? Let's just do D-Luke's. I think it said change the time to night, right? I don't remember what time it said. Hopefully this is the correct time. If it's not, I'm sorry. We'll have to change time again. It's getting dark. Let's stick around Mondstadt. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll meet the Dark Knight hero. I sure hope so. This is such a fun quest, so I'm not going to complain too much that it's forcing me to do it. After managing to steer clear of the guard's patrol route, I never anticipated I'd run into you instead. Dark Knight Hero? Sounds awfully derivative to me. Please tell me you didn't come up with that. How is this the first you've heard of the name? Every man and his dog in Mondstadt is yapping about the Dark Knight Hero. I do not concern myself with idle chatter. Though, I suppose I may take the idleness of others as a sign that peace prevails. Huzzah! The great mystery! of the Dark Knight Hero of Mondstadt. We solved it. Now then, Mr. Dark Knight Hero. Please stop calling me that. Seriously, it makes me uncomfortable. 
<laughs> Not surprised. It's the stupidest superhero named Pylon's ever heard. You should come up with something more original. Like, um, Captain Pie. Pie? Captain Pyro! Tell us, Captain Pyro, what happened here today? <sighs> it was the Abyss Order. Them again? I don't know what the devil they're plotting this time. It seems they're performing some initial reconnaissance, considering that I've proven myself to be one step ahead of them on countless occasions. Their persistence is unusual. The Knights are, for the most part, an utterly incompetent bunch. I cannot trust them to take this matter over. <sighs> That's not my point. I'm not doing this to impress anyone. Well, I hope this conversation has been of service to you. Because I would like to ask for a favor in return. Oh? What is it, Master Diluc? Your wish is our command! You must keep my identity a secret. Above all, it is crucial that you do not let the Knights of Favonius know I am connected to any of this. <sighs> What's that sound? Yikes! Have the Abyss Order sent back up already? They appear to just be small timers. You should have no trouble dealing with them. I cannot afford delays on account of a few lackeys. I shall have to let you take care of them. Remember, don't tell a soul. Hey, you're just gonna leave us like this? I actually do find it hilarious that he was literally supposed to be here fending off a little closer. Like the gate. And he's just leaving it to us. You can take care of it. Okay, I guess I will. I guess I don't have another option, do I? All this. And if I don't get to... What is it? I think I have to be AR-25 to unlock reputation. I'll cry. Greetings. I thought I heard something, so I came to check it out. Did you see anything out of the ordinary? Nope. Nuh-uh. Not here. Nothing. Silch! Unless you're looking for the Dark Knight hero, in which case... The Dark Knight hero? You saw him? Oh! Uh... The Dark Knight hero is... Uh... Her! You! The hero who safeguards Mondstadt from the shadows! On behalf of the Knights of Favonius, I thank you for your service to this city. Uh... It's nothing. Really, you're too kind. Wait a second. Aren't you the traveler that just arrived in the city? Rumors were circulating about the Dark Knight hero long before you ever arrived here. Oh... Uh... Why would you lie to me about that? Mm, never mind. You don't seem like bad folks. But I do hope you will visit the Knights of Favonia soon, where we can discuss the Dark Knight hero situation in more detail. You know, some things are best not discussed in public. <sighs> Duty calls. I must be going. Stay safe, traveler. Seems like Huffman has something he really wants to say to you about the Dark Knight hero. Better head over to the Knights of Avonius and see if you can find him. Would it be quicker to just teleport? Absolutely. Okay, let's see. Is that who I, is that him? Huffman, is that you? Huffman! Oh, it's you two. Thank you for coming. So, the Dark Knight hero. Do you have anything else you're able to share with me? Is that so? That is a pity indeed. The situation is... Mm. Here, take a look at this. Jeez, what horrible handwriting. Hmm, let me take a closer look. Huh? Some parts of this seem to be complete gibberish. Hmm, <sighs> indeed. Although this is written in the common tongue, it appears that a cipher has been used in many places. Nevertheless, one can grasp the general message from the non-ciphered portions alone. This is a war declaration from the Abyss Order to the Dark Knight Hero. Does that mean the bad guys want the Dark Knight Hero to go away forever and ever? <sighs> Something like that. Thus, we are hoping to contact him as soon as possible so that we can attempt to coordinate a response. After all, this matter no longer concerns merely the Dark Knight Hero himself. It impacts the entire city of Mondstadt. 
If you find out anything at all, come and find me. A war declaration sent by the Abyss Order? Uh, this is not good news at all for Master Diluc. Quick, we should go tell him right away! Well, like I said, I really do love this quest, so I'm I'm not complaining. Although this might be the most progress I think I've ever made in just one video. Like if I can get these two quests done, then that'll be three story quests in one video. I can't even imagine how long this video is gonna be. Hopefully it's not unbearable and you all are enjoying it so far. Okay, into the winery. I love that he was just standing here waiting. Hey. Master Diluc, just now we were at the Knights of Avonius and, and- I take it you're about to inform me of the war declaration from the Abyss Order. I'm aware of it, though I appreciate you for taking the trouble to come all this way. What? The Don Winery's intelligence network extends beyond commercial matters. Great! So, what's the plan, Master Diluc? I'm open to suggestions. That would be tantamount to handing this over to the Knights. Had they been worthy of this task to begin with, things would never have escalated to this point. In any case, circumstances are not dire enough to warrant me going into hiding and leaving the Knights to deal with the consequences. Ooh, the Abyss Order has really dealt you a tough hand this time. What a sneaky little bunch those guys are. There is a way, but for it to work, I need some more information. Specifically, I need to decipher the obscured portions of the Abyss Order's war declaration. Obscured portions? You mean the bits Paimon can't read? It must be a cipher only understood by members of the Abyss Order, used to spread messages within the organization. It's not simply a war declaration, but also a notification to their own. When you take a stand that makes you a hero to one party, you also become a villain to the other. And since I've been the Abyss Order's enemy for so long, they've made me the target around which they can rally their troops and unite their strength. Wow! Seems like it takes a lot of brains to be a superhero, huh? I understand my enemy well, is all. As the saying goes, heroes and villains are two sides of the same coin. So what are we gonna do about the intel that's written in gibberish, then? How do we... un... gibberish... By it. Simple. When you don't understand something, you ask. I've already tracked down one of their strongholds. If you're interested, feel free to come along. Okay, and now we are off to the Abyss Order stronghold already. This is the place. Abandoned ruins like these are precisely the kind of place the Abyss Order likes to camp out. Okay, guys, I didn't remember how easy this quest is. Like, it's pretty straightforward so far. This is absolutely how I like my quests. I don't need a ton of dialogue to be happy. I don't- okay, there's a chest there. But I really prefer when there's, like, a lot of action going on. I want to be doing stuff. I, I miss how we used to always just go to these domains and just mess around. Like, I, I don't like all the dialogue. Sometimes it's just too much for me. I want Diluc so bad. Somebody let me lose my 50-50 on this account to him. Then I'd be even more upset because I'd have the wolf's gravestone on my other account, but I would have him on this account. That would literally make me so upset. Verdict is... And I feel like he's such a strong character to, like, get at the very beginning. Like, he would really carry me through this early game. At least until I could get to other yeah. nations where I could build, like, newer characters. I know I should be using my other characters as well, but I am just... I don't want to. How often do I get to use D-Loop? Leave me alone. Retribution! Me, because I'm definitely going to break this rock wall. 
Oh man, I have to get to Adventure Rank 25. Like, that's not happening, even if I finish these quests, I don't think. I don't feel like that's possible. But the good news is I can go over to Leeway and work on the Archon quest. So maybe we'll just do that next. And then once I reach level 25, we can come back and try to work on our reputation here. Need that treasure compass because I really want 100% some monster areas. I know it's early, but I'm ready. I do not know why I am yapping so much today. Like, I just feel like I have so much to talk about for once in my life. Although nothing I've said today has, like, really been important. Oh, hello. Like, right there? Really? Can't even come in the room? Ooh. Try not to enjoy this too. How did you find me here, Favonian scum? I am no knight of Favonius. Now start talking. Your plan. What is it? I see you received our letter. But if you think I'm going to let you in on our secrets, I'm afraid you're quite mistaken. <laughs> you appear to have misunderstood the situation you're in. <laughs> Did you just use a pyro vision to shoot fire from your hands? Ah, it burns! Let's see how long it takes for you to crack. <laughs> Stop! I mean, I'm not here to torture him, so I really don't want to burn him anymore. We're just going to interrogate him now. It? Well, I doubt you'd be foolish enough to keep anything else hidden. Okay, let me get my chest and get out of here. Ooh, a precious chest. Oh no, my internet's bad. Worst feeling. Now that I have the information I need, I must prepare. I would be grateful if you could keep me updated on how the Knights of Favonius respond to this matter. Master Deluxe, sir. Anything you say, Master Deluxe, sir. Why are you acting so strange all of a sudden? Paimon is literally me. In, in light of what just went down here a moment ago, Master Deluxe has officially reached number one on Paimon's people not to tick off under any circumstances list. Uh. Okay, and now we're going back to Huffman to talk even more, of course. If we do not make contact with the Dark Knight hero soon... Ah, it's you two. I must admit, this issue of the Dark Knight hero is proving to be something of a headache. We've just held a meeting to decide on an appropriate course of action. Can you guess what it is? <laughs> uh, good one. But, no. The Knights cannot afford to simply stand by and watch while there is even the slightest inkling of a threat facing Mondstadt. If that were the case, more and more people would start to rely on the Dark Knight hero instead of the Knights of Favonius. Oh, well, what's the plan then? Find out the Dark Knight hero's true identity and offer him our protection. Protection?
protection. He seems to be doing just fine without your protection so far, you know. <sighs> well, since you've aided the knights in the past, I might as well just tell you. The offer of protection is just a ruse in order for the Knights of Favonius to take over full and exclusive responsibility for this matter. You aren't gonna let the Dark Knight hero be all heroic and stuff? Why not? Firstly, to show the might of the Knights of Favonius, to prove to the people that without the Dark Knight hero, they can still rely on the Knights to maintain peace and harmony. Secondly, the Abyss Order have no mercy in their hearts. Well, if anything happened to the Dark Knight hero, it would only serve to further their nefarious ambitions. Gosh, Paima never knew the life of a knight involved so much untold anguish before. But none of this will work if we don't establish the Dark Knight hero's true identity in time. There's no need to despair, Huffman. Just follow my plan and everything will be fine. Ah, uh, Captain Kaya. Lately, Master Diluc has been working the bar at the Angel's Share every night. All I need you to do is keep him in your sight. Think you can manage that for me? Uh, yes, Captain Kaya. But does that mean that Master Diluc is the Dark Knight hero? Who knows? It's just a hunch. I've been known to be wrong on occasion. Wow. Paimon feels we saw a whole new side of the Knights of Avonius today. Oh my god, and now we're back to the winery. Back and forth, 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 back and forth. Oh, I really wanted those crystal flies, whatever. Master Diluc, Paimon has something important to tell you. Yes, about Kaya. I should have known he would see this as the perfect opportunity to get back at me. Sounds like there's a bit of bad blood between you guys then. I shan't get into that now. More importantly, the Knights of Favonius are responding more or less as I had anticipated. All we need to do now is think of a counter plan. That won't work. It will only arouse the Knights' suspicion if I don't show up as they're expecting. That's what Kaya is counting on. Hmm. So what are we gonna do? Patience. Let me think for a moment. Hmm. If they intend to monitor me, then so be it. We can use this to create the perfect alibi. What's an alabla? An alibi? If you want to find out, maybe you can do me a small favor first. Oh, come on! Why do you love cliffhangers so much? In Mondstadt, mist flowers are most commonly found in a region just northwest of the winery. If you could gather some for me, I'd be most grateful. I will make other preparations here in the meantime. Okay, we are- oh, we have to leave, so they're making me walk out the door. Okay, we need Miss Flower Corollas, which are gonna be beside the water. Beside the water- where, though? I thought it was here. I guess it doesn't matter. Um, I'm stuck in the bushes. What the freak? Here we go, we'll teleport here. Oh no, I still need this one. Nice and spicy. I hope that hits this. Come on, aim over here. Look, over here. Over here, little guy. Perfect. Oh wait, there's one. I know it's not beside the water though. Please, 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 please let it count. I think they were probably just saying beside the water to like help you figure out where to find them. Boba, get them. Thank God. Me when I suffer. Ah, you're back. Allow me to introduce the winery's master brewer. So many mist flowers. Great. I can't wait to see how this turns out. So, are you certain the equipment can withstand this level of purity? Oh my, my goodness. The winery owner himself is addressing me directly. Uh, don't worry, sir. It is always my honor to serve you, even if it means risking my life. Huh? What's so life-threatening about this? Uh, please, excuse me. I must get to work. What's he gonna do with a bunch of mist flowers? Long story short, 
A few days ago, the winery was experimenting with some new flavors. They wanted to see if mist flower can truly add a crisp and refreshing taste. Sure enough, they discovered that the flower's extract is truly potent. So the new batch is selling like hotcakes? No, not potent in terms of attracting customers, but slimes. Slimes need to extract elemental energy to survive. For them, this substance is simply irresistible. So I thought to myself, I wonder how much trouble I could cause now that I know this. Yikes! What was that noise? Oh, cold! So cold! <laughs> oh, Master D. Luke, purification complete, sir. But the equipment is... Marvelous work. Don't fret about the equipment. I shall have my butler order more immediately. Marvelous! Jelly ho! Spiffing! Somebody fetch the butler! Paimon never knew you had to be so well-spoken to get a job in the alcohol industry. This is what I was talking about. Mist flower extract. Or, for our purposes, elemental bait. Wow! It really has a strong elemental... lift. Can we test it out? Sprinkle a little on the ground over there. Careful, just a small amount. Where do they want me to sprinkle it? Here we go. And then the slams show up, don't they? Not before I talk to D. Luke. And then that's it? How long does it take before? Squelch, squelch. Holy moly, it really does attract slimes. And even more than we expected. It appears the potency is greater than anticipated. We'd better get rid of them before they wreak havoc on the manor. Okay, where where are the slimes? They're right here. Out of the frying pan, into the You're in for a little shock. Come a little closer. Yep. <laughs> More slimes! Geo slimes this time. Let's just suck him up in there and, and take him away. Yeah, you can take him too. You're in for a little shock. Full metal what now? I got that achievement. Come a little closer. Why are there so many slimes? You're in for a little sh- Thank God I finished. I killed all the slimes. Ooh, such a powerful effect from such a small amount of extract. At least we didn't go picking wildflowers for nothing. All right, so can you tell us what your plan is now, Master Diluc? Yes, the plan is... And so, I expect it to all go down without a hitch. Hmm, are you sure it will work? You're the only person in the plan. I have persevered alone from the start. Now, I alone must face what lies ahead. Well, if you already made up your mind... But until that moment comes, we can still help you out where we can. Isn't that right? I am indeed indebted to you. I shall see you at the tavern, as per the plan. Let's wait until evening to meet Master Diluc at the tavern. Thankfully, it's already evening. I don't have to wait. We just get to head right to the tavern. Greetings, Mr. Hoffman of the Knights of Fabonius. To what do I owe the pleasure at this hour? Oh, uh, nothing. <laughs> I'm merely procrastinating. I thought I might indulge myself with a beverage or two. Ah, Traveler. Fancy meeting you here. Oh, we were in the mood for an evening stroll. Kind of crazy that he's still in his Knights of Favonius uniform, but he's sitting here at the bar. I kind of feel like that is a little bit inappropriate for him. Even if he is off the clock, he really should not be in his uniform here. What would you like to drink? I'll have a dandelion wine, I suppose. Imagine somebody tells you don't be suspicious, but then you literally 
show up to the place where you're supposed to be like keeping an eye on someone in your uniform like we know we know why you're here you're not fooling anybody they should have sent somebody else you failed already Ooh, Paimon wants apple juice. Oh, but Paimon forgot to bring her a coin pouch. Do you have any more on you? Then I must regretfully ask you to come back when you can pay. Well, in that case, let this be my treat. No need. We'll be back in a jiffy. Huffman showed up just as expected. Okay, remember the plan? Go to the city side gate and place the elemental bait. Whoa! You used all of it! This is gonna be pretty epic. Yikes! Here comes the slimes! Quick! Let's get to the tavern before anyone spots us! Oh, there we're just we're going straight to the tavern. Captain Kaya is no doubt a formidable knight, but he also brings us more than his share of hassle. Uh, no, no, this isn't right. I should not be talking about my superior in such a manner. If he were to overhear me... We're back! Is my apple juice ready? <laughs> One moment. <laughs> Mr. Huffman! Mr. Huffman! A situation at the side gate! Everyone to the side gate! What is it? What happened? Uh, it's... Slimes, Mr. Huffman. Slimes? You see them all the time. What's the big panic? We do, but, sir, there are more slimes out there now than all the slimes I've seen in my life added together. Uh, whoa. Surely this couldn't be the Abyss Order's secret weapon. I have another matter to attend to here. Oh? The matter of your dandelion wine? No, no, I, I, uh, that's not what I meant. <laughs> Dude, he got him. You go out there and you fight. Like, you're not gonna sit here and drink your wine. Hmm. So this is how the Knights of Favonius conduct themselves in a crisis. The Abyss Order is encroaching on the city gates, and your response is to sit here drinking wine? It's like I've always said, the Knights are not to be trusted. I... <sighs> Master G. Luke is right. My conduct here has been below par. I shall set off at once. But first... May I have a quiet word? Huh? Shh, keep your voice down. I presume you know what this is about. Please watch D look for me. Do not let him leave under any circumstances. I must head to the side gate, but I'll be back shortly. I'm counting on you. Good. That's him out of the way. Everything's going according to plan. I must get going too. I won't have a second to spare if I'm to be back in time. Okay. Like, it's kind of crazy that we were able to just distract everyone so much that they won't see anything happening at the front gate, question mark? Like, look at all these people. They're definitely about to see what's going to go down. Ah, there you are. This is one of my favorite cutscenes ever. Dealing with you will be the easy part. Slime come from. Ooh, 
Oops, that like didn't go the way I wanted it to. Oh well. Thought I was gonna hit this guy, failed. That didn't happen. No, you loser! <laughs> How come in the cutscene he has he had a different weapon than he has now? Let the show be Did I do it? Classic Master D Luke. Not a baddie left standing. Not a baddie left standing. Nothing more than a few hilly churls. No time to chat. I don't know how long those slimes will keep Huffman occupied. Best get back to the tavern. Man, why do I have to walk <sighs> back to the tavern this Glad time? That's settled. Let's get back to the tavern. You think Huffman is back yet? I'm really gonna need more stamina soon. I don't know how much longer I can put up with this. It seems Huffman hasn't yet returned. We made it in time. <sighs> the situation is sorted now. I never expected that the Abyss Order's army would turn out to be nothing more than a few slimes. <laughs> that is a surprise. Perhaps the Knight's true calling is to be slime exterminators. Who knows? Domestic pest control may turn out to be a more valuable use of your resources. <sighs> Master Diluc, please, have you no respect at all? Well, how come you're sweating so much? You didn't leave, did you? Is it? But if that's the case, why are you also out of breath? Uh-oh, Huffman is getting suspicious. Uh, hmm. Excuse me, sir. Might I be so bold as to inquire? Did you see Master D. Luke, uh, I mean, today's bartender, uh, did you see him leave just now? Yikes, he's asking other customers. We're done for. Master D. Luke? Why, no. He's been behind the bar this entire time. I see. Mr. Huffman, your dandelion wine. You ought to get back after this. Send my regards to the rest of the knights. Oh. Never mind. I must be going. I should report back. Here, take this as a token of my esteem. Hmm. How odd. Whew. That was too close. Paimon was sure we were toast. I foresaw this eventuality. So, all the guests here tonight, save you two, are my own people from the Dawn Winery. They're all in on it? Not all of them. Or should I say... Not all of us. Kaya, where did you come from? I just picked a good spot to quietly sit and watch the show. What? You've been here this whole time? Correct. The Dark Knight Heroes Alibi. I think it's my favorite chapter so far. More intriguing than a fine wine. <sighs> so, you plan to report everything to the Knights of Favonius? <laughs> Come now, D. Luke. You know me better than that. I have no interest in exposing secrets. I was just curious to see how far Mondstadt's Dark Knight hero would really go. And you did not disappoint. I have nothing to prove to you. Oh, naturally. I must say, though, one thing I didn't see coming is that the mighty Dark Knight hero would actually need help from other people. Sorry. We're closing. Please see yourselves out. All right, all right. I have no further need of wine to entertain myself tonight in any case. Just one last thing before I go. It had better be the very last thing. I feel strangely comforted by the fact you now have an assistant, T. Luke. <clears throat> I hope you all have a wonderful night. What was all that about? <sighs> Don't mind him. Thank you for all your help with this matter. This is a token of my gratitude. Wow! Thanks, Master Diluc. I'm in the habit of working alone. But... I did enjoy having your assistance this time. In the future, if there's anything you ever need, you can come to me for help. We did it. Okay. 
So now we have one final quest, at least one final quest for the video today. I do just want to put a little disclaimer out there. I am really sorry if you can tell that I am crashing and my and I'm getting exhausted. Uh, we're nearing two and a half hours here, so I'm just doing my best to stay awake. I'm still working on my little crochet project. For those of you who are wondering, it is a shark. But anyway, I do remember I was supposed to talk to Donna, so let me track again. Hey, Donna. <sighs> this is our final call for the day. Welcome. Uh, couples are our specialty. Let me know what you'd like and I'll wrap them up nicely for you. Ah, uh, yes. Now, which book was it that has the line, A date without flowers is a date without romance? <laughs> Why, it just so happens that I would, my kindest cutie. Some flowers for Miss Lisa? What would you like? I kind of want to give her a mist flower. Like, that is, that's her vibe for sure. Mist flowers? Over there in the corner. But don't touch them with your bare hands. You'll get frostbite. You want them? You're sure? What an unusual choice. It's just that Lisa seems to use Electro quite a lot. Things could get a little bit dangerous. Crap, I forgot you about sure? that. Can't change again once you've made your mind up. Yeah, I probably don't want to injure her, so I am going to say no. But, like, the dandelion's Some boring. Some flowers for Miss Lisa? What would you like? Like, what is the question mark? Some flowers for Miss... Okay, whatever. We're going to do dandelion. Dandelions are one of our classics. And a personal favorite of Miss Flora, the shop owner. I know what you're thinking. Most flower shops don't sell dandelions. They're a nuisance to care for. Perhaps Miss Flora likes the sense of floating away to a faraway land that the dandelion evokes. Come to think of it, Miss Flora herself gives people the same impression. You sure? Can't change again once you've made your mind up. Dandelions? They actually sell dandelions? They have a refreshing scent, similar to the one Jean wears. Thank you. Okay, time to get back to business. Donna, do you know why we're here? Back to business? My business is selling flowers. <sighs> Once again, we see a total lack of respect for literature. The Pale Princess and the Six Pygmies ring a bell. Oh, uh, yes. Well, what happened was... Was... Oh, no. What am I gonna do? I... I lost the book. <sighs> a while back, I realized it was almost due, and I was getting ready to bring it back to the library. But I couldn't find it anywhere. I looked for days, but nothing. It's like somebody stole it. It should have been there, on my bedside table, right where I left it. Uh-oh. That Lisa does some crazy things when she gets mad. I heard that. <laughs> well, if it really was stolen... Donna's done the thing wrong. The blame lies with the book thief. And their punishment will be three. No, ten times worse than stealing my book. Like Paimon said, totally crazy! Oh, don't worry about that. As long as I remain librarian, not a single book will go missing for good. I put a unique elemental marker on each book. Our thief will have left a nice set of clues for us to follow. When did Lisa start taking her job so seriously? Paimon always thought she was a total slacker. Hey, sweetie. I've heard your elemental sensitivity is very strong. Why not see what you can do? Elemental sensitivity? Oh, Paimon's got it! Use your elemental sight to look for clues! I mean, just please explain to me why Elemental Sight is so important in Mondstadt, but nowhere else. Looking at the Elemental Traces, it does seem likely that the book was stolen. So Donna didn't do anything wrong after all. It's not from the Restricted section, so it's hardly a book worth stealing. Whoever wanted this book so badly had a strange fixation indeed. Hmm. So, what do we do now? The elemental traces are very faint, but I can tell that the thief took it beyond the city walls. You must see it too, right, cutie? Let's follow the trail and have a look where our thief was headed, shall we? Let's see if there's a closer place I can teleport to. Uh, 
I don't know. I feel like this might be closer. Why did the purple spot disappear? That stupid pyro slime is still here. The elemental traces are strong here, but it seems our thief did not stay for long. The trail keeps going. Let's keep looking. I'm going to continue to ignore that pyro slime because... I don't know. I want to. He wants to fight and I just do not. Should have just teleported back to this waypoint. Oh well. I'm gonna ignore you guys too, so just don't pay attention to me. Oh, right here. It must be nearby. Using elemental sight, you can even detect magic. Follow the flow of magic to find the book. Okay, find out which way the elemental marks lead. They lead this way? Like, hello. I'm following, but like, I'm not. Isn't it like in a random kind of crevice in the wall? Yeah, there we go. The thief lives inside ruins? Mondstadt people do have some strange quirks. Please do not jump to such a preposterous conclusion about the living habits of Mondstadt's residents. This seems far more likely to be the work of some none too friendly troublemakers. It's like you can read my mind. This is more likely to be the Abyss Order's doing. They do seem to have a way of slipping in and out of places like ghosts, after all. Also, there's an elemental seal at the entrance. It looks like the result of an Abyss Mage's magic. A seal? How are we gonna break it? Is this gonna turn into another huge ordeal? <laughs> Not to worry. If you think a little magic can keep me out, think again. Why is that? Come on. Whoa. So this is what Lisa's like when she's hard at work. Okay, now we need to find the book thief. It's well, there's so another domain, so I'm happy about that. Do we really have to go all the way inside? If you borrow a book, you have to return it. There will be no exceptions. I'm having horrible lag. Like, did y'all see that? That is horrible. Okay. A lot of gliding here. Like, what happened to domains being like this? Like, this was fun. I don't know. It's silly. There's not a ton of fighting. Chest! No, wait. Give me that. Gosh, you gotta make it far. Oh, I forgot that there are, like, lasers. Once again, I don't think we really see lasers anymore. Even so, these lasers do, like, no damage, so it really doesn't matter if you even hit them. Honestly, in my opinion. What am I supposed to do? How do you even hit them? Oh, here we go. That was a little confusing for me, but I figured it out. And that's so cool. Why do we never do anything with that anymore? I guess because it would suck if you don't have an electro catalyst trying to figure out how to do that. It wouldn't be horrible, but it would suck if you didn't have an electro character. Like, the domains used to be so unique. I just, I feel like every time you do a domain in Mondstadt, they're so different. Like, obviously they look the same, but like, you do the most random stuff. Up we go! Ooh, we're going over here, I guess. Big ol', I'm gonna accidentally, like, electrocute myself. I need to get out of the water. You're in for a little shock. Be gone. Go! Take him! 
Come a little closer. Hup. Get. Luma, get them! Here. Hup. Hey. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> 30 seconds. You're in for a little shot. Did it actually work this time? Final trial. Woo! Hey, look! It's an abyss mage! Lisa was spot on! Wait, guys, I no one made it clear that that was a trial this whole time that I was doing, and that's why I kept having to restart it. Gotcha. Now, now I understand. You're in for a little shock. Come a little closer. You're in for a little shock. How did you find this place? It's so well hidden! I have no interest in finding out where you little rascals hide yourselves away, but I do want my book back. Tell me, how is it that you have the time to conceal your stronghold and apply a magic seal, but not to sign out a library book in the proper manner? You have no respect whatsoever for other people's work. You... you just want... the book? I was unaware that anyone in Mondstadt was concerned with unearthing the secret hidden inside this book. Who... who are you? The librarian, although I believe that should be quite clear already. Return the book. This is an ultimatum. <laughs> Since you insist on concealing your identity, I have all the less reason to give you that book. After all, it contains... the secret. Huh? W what are you doing? Such concentrated elemental power! P please don't! Hmm. Naughty boys who don't do what they're told need a little punishment to keep them in line. Lisa is, like, so unhinged. <sighs> this is why I call it troublesome work. We'll just need to find the book ourselves. It should be around here somewhere. Did I- oh, oh, wait. I don't remember this at all. Here's my chest. It's the Pale Princess and the Six Pygmies. Paimon remembers that name. Is this the one you were looking for? That's the one. It's a good thing it isn't damaged. Otherwise... Otherwise what? Are you telling me you have even more crazy punishments up your sleeve? <laughs> I would have probably have needed to dish out a little taste of one of my potions in that case. Uh... Then again, as I said, it isn't from the restricted section, which is the only reason I would let the average citizen borrow it in the first place. And it doesn't appear to have any abnormal elemental properties, save for the markings I put on it. Yeah, it seems like just an average storybook. I love that all the stuff they didn't let me grab from the chest is just glowing right behind us. As far as my duties as a librarian go, my troublesome work is finished. Since this book has piqued your interest, why don't I let you borrow it? There's no time limit for you. I will register you as custodian rather than borrower. This is an exclusive privilege reserved for trusted citizens only. Exclusive privilege? Why does Paimon feel this is just your sneaky way of offloading your troublesome work onto someone else? Excuse me, are you in some way dissatisfied with my work? Good, you're amenable to reason then. <sighs> I do wish I could keep you by my side as my personal assistant. My work here is done. I'm going back. Don't forget to register at the library when you have a spare moment. Okay, let me grab all the stuff I dropped. Cool, let's leave. Let's get out of here. Okay, let's go back to the library so we can talk to Lisa. 
Also, I just wanted to update you guys. I'm st I've still been working on my little shark and I'm almost done. And I mean, she's so cute. She's the cutest little sharky baby ever. And I'll probably be finished by the time I edit this video. So I'm gonna insert a little picture of my sharky baby for you all to see. Hope you love her. And let's finish the quest. Quiet the premises. <sighs> You've returned. The paperwork is done. You are now the custodian of this book. Thank you, Miss Lisa. But Paimon thinks we're forgetting something. Look, over there on the shelf. Isn't that the Tavat travel guide? And look how many copies there are. <laughs> the Tavat travel guide is a serial publication. It is not part of the library's formal collection. Take one. Consider it your compensation for being Lisa's little helper today. With you by my side, my troublesome work was a little less dull than usual. Hmm. The Tavat travel guide was just bait to get us to do a day's work. I hadn't anticipated that a few routine returns inquiries would take us out of the city, let alone down into some underground ruins. As compensation for dragging you into all this bother, take these souvenirs. Wow! Lisa went and bought us some special souvenirs! In fact, they were intended for our next outing. But, never mind. We can discuss next time's activity when the time comes. I hope you are looking forward to it. <sighs> Where is the travel guide? It's on this wall, right? Oh, this wall. There we go. And I did it, guys. Finally, you would not believe it. Almost three hours later, but we accomplished what I set out to do and I could not be happier. Oh my goodness. Thank God. Okay, friends. Well, we finally made it to the end of today's video. If you guys stuck around and watched for this long, oh my God, thank you. Thank you, and I love you, and I appreciate you, and you mean the world to me. But anyway, all that said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Also, <sighs> let me know down in the comments if you would be interested in seeing me do any world quests from these nations that I'm going back to, because on my main account, obviously, I already have them finished, but I would definitely be willing to make videos for those as well on here if that's something you guys are interested in. As always, my Discord server will be linked in the description below for anyone that would like to join. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. And hopefully, we'll see you next time. Bye!